fancy boy. Oh, mate. So one of the first things we're going to do this morning when it catches up, come on camera, fuck us, is uh, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to print off the lease and go through it with a fine tooth comb. I've already read it last night. There are a couple of things highlighted on there that I'm unsure about. And then I'm gonna get in touch with a couple of friends. We'll get Craig involved. He used to be a copper. He's got a law degree. And there's somebody else online offered me some of their services for free. I'll send it across to them, let them have a look at the lease. And we'll get, uh, we'll get a couple of uh, second opinions on it. Make sure that it is sweet. And then we'll get signed and uh, that's it. We'll be in there for five years, folks. Five years of a beautiful canal side beer garden. I'll sign up to that. Just looked through the lease for me, and uh, we've just sort of found one or two little glitches in there that we're going to analyse further and ask for a bit of clarification on. But so far, it's looking promising. If anybody else wants to give it a once over, that's fine by me. If you're from the uh, rentals or solicitor background type of thing, then you're the man who can. So, yeah, I managed to also beg, steal and borrow a few casks and we've pulled off a bit of the vacant gesture and uh, some of the coconut shy for the weekend so with any luck it'll be ready to go on the bar for uh, Saturday when everybody comes over well, I'm hoping to do it on Friday actually but in the meantime I'll point you in this direction I will show you a few samples that we've got. So this is sample A of the bitter, which has had a little dose of isinglass, as you can see from the sediment thrown at the bottom, and that's just been thrown within the hour, really. And it's relatively clear. I mean, it's not the best light in here for it, but you can see through. Oh, and it tastes fan dozy like pet. And we've also had a little bit of a dabble. A little bit of a dabble on the uh, on the vacant. Oh yes. Oh, it's warm. She's starting to drop out nicely. You can see we're relatively clear. Well, we're approaching clear at the top. I can see through it. But down the bottom, we've got a heavier sediment. It smells the nuts. Oh man, that is really good. But as long as we can see it's starting to settle, I don't need to do any more to it. And then finally, you've not tried this one yet, have you Craig? Just as the chiller unit kicks in. So, Come and see what you think to the cop nut. We've got the old cop nut in the fridge. <laughs> it's cleared out pretty well actually just those five minutes in the uh, in the fridge it's coconut on the aroma big time and coconut, coconut on the paddle, yeah oh it's got a tropical bite mm. it's made my mouth water immediately mmm I think that's good shit, mate. 
That's awesome. That's good stuff. This to you, Tom and Froggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there'll be none left by the time you boys get back here. They took a fermenter home with them anyway. Mmm, that's good. good. Do you want to try this still? Yeah. Now it's cleared out a wee bit. But as far as I'm concerned, coming through an ankle, that'll cream that up and that, you know, a good amount and just soften the flavours. A couple of days in cast to uh, to condition. It's got plenty of coconut on flavour, hasn't it? Do you like that? Test come pretty, it was absolutely turbid when I brought it out of that pipe. Yeah. Just five minutes in there, I think these will clear out perfectly on their own without Isinglass in the future. It might be worth just, uh, well I popped it back in, we'll come back later on and we'll check it out. Right, we're back in, what time is it sweetie? Quarter past six. Quarter past six. Uh, I've been up and had a few beers with Craig after he looked through the lease. We've also got some info back from a friend of mine on uh, Facebook stroke YouTube given me a good rundown on uh, what's good on this lease what's bad on this lease so we can break it down a little bit more and get a better deal also managed to get hold of a couple of casks and put some beer in cask for the weekend but I didn't manage to grab any footage from it because of the lease situation but we have got as I touched on earlier on the coconut shy and yes there are no findings in this bad boy and she is clearing out quite nicely so if we pour this into a half pint glass oh yeah so this has had a couple of three hours in the fridge what do you reckon I reckon that's gonna clear up lovely come and have a look Jim so don't you want to get on cam? No. You're all right. I'll edit you out. Should edit me out, really, shouldn't I, to be honest? What do you think? I think it's all right. I think it's pretty good. I think it's going to be good on the bar. You dry hop to go. It's had everything. It's ready to go. Mm. You getting any coconut? I'm getting the coconut. Yeah. That's I'm what we want. We want coconut more than anything else, really. Loads of coconut. Mm. Mm. It's chilled and it's slightly oxidised because it's been open for three or four hours. Wow. Really getting the coconut. Mm. So yeah, that's good. So come the weekend, come Friday, come Saturday, we should have four of the Harrison's Brewery beers on the bar, which is going to be a good thing. What's happening tomorrow? more analysis of the lease, a reply, maybe at some point over the next couple of days an installation of the BMS system. But these are all things that don't make for a good video, so bear with us for a week folks. We've still got the beer in the tanks, the majority of, so we'll do a casking walkthrough when our casks arrive. So until then, we're going to focus on getting the keys for next door because that's the most important thing for us. And of course there's the distraction, the massive distraction of England in the World Cup tomorrow. So if you don't see any vlogs this week, you can basically decipher the fact that I've gone out, England have won, and I've got a little bit drunk. That's a potential situation for tomorrow. But fail that. I will see you Thursday, or Friday, depending. Anyway, it's coming home.